Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and today I'm going to take you on a tour through Carlsbad Caverns National Park. Carlsbad Caverns is unique in a lot of ways. It's very different from the typical caverns you will see around the country. So come on in with me and I'll show you what I mean. Right above the caverns are these adobe and stucco buildings that were built as a government project in starting in 1940. And here is an information plaque that tells about it. The equivalent of about an 80 story building. You ready for that? Yeah. <laughs> that was not enthusiastic at all. We got one like, yeah. Um, so it is steep. Uh, once you reach the big room, about an hour away, that's where it starts to flatten out. To protect this place, what we need is you to stay on the trail today, and it's really important that you don't touch any of the rock walls of the formations. Oils in your skin, they build up on that, and they will stain it after a few years. So hands off, all right? You can take pictures, though, if you'd like to. Use a flash, that is allowed. We do allow water, please nothing else. Gum, candy, tobacco, if you're chewing something right now, uh, go ahead and drop it in the bucket for me. Little ones, make sure they're staying with an adult. I'm sure you would anyways, but we don't want separated parties down there. And, um, well... Consider bathrooms. It's the last chance for about an hour. All right. Once you reach the cave entrance, your voice can echo real far. Um, so we do want to well, talk in a whisper just to be nice to other people. Questions at all? No. Okay. You're all set. Have a good set. Thank you. There's the entrance to the cave, and this is the Bat Flight Amphitheater, where people sit and watch when they're having a mass. Exodus of bats from the cave or Here's a closer view of the cave entrance and the walkway to it And this is a much closer up view And here's a view from the bottom looking up And here is the entrance to a cave away from the sunlight. And they have a screen door. Here is the first sighting of stalactites in a really huge room. Here is a bunch of stalagmites which are not well lit up at all. Part of this big room. That blue light you are seeing off in the distance was actually an opening to the cave up there. I'm really surprised here that much of the cave is just not lit up at all, so you can't see what's off to the left and right. There's a pool here from which rises the stalagmite, and right next to it is a column, like a stalagmite, but it which grew so high that it actually connected to the top of the cave at this point. There's only little parts here and there, some of the features that are lit up. Mostly, like I said, it's really dark. This is a nice shot here. There's a wooden scaffolding right there. Well, I've made it to the bottom of the cave where they have a t-shirt and gift shop and a little sandwich deli here. Places where you can sit and eat lunch at the bottom of the cave.
and they have these pictures on the wall where you can see it clearer and read more about it. And here is a picture of the cave opening where the bats are flying out. So that's what it looked like when they have their bat flights. Maybe the cave is another planet, so super cool. Um, is anybody missing anybody from their group? Someone went to Ingles with a tinkle? Well, one person came with stop. Um, who was here yesterday? Who's been here before? Okay, welcome back. Who's never been to our before? Welcome to the best cave in the world. Yeah, um, so yesterday was a, a kind of a crazy day. We had about 4,000 people come. Um, so today's a little bit less crazy, but yeah, it's, it's spring break. Who's on spring break here? Yeah, cool. Hala, thank you for visiting. Cool beans. Awesome. So I'm um, going to go ahead and get started and if we're missing people when we leave. Okay, guys, so I'm um, scoot on close. I showered, so well, you're fine. Really, really, really be cautious not to touch anything. So, can everyone pinky promise me we are not going to touch the cave? Yep. What you just saw is an optional tour that starts at the bottom of the cave and it goes into sections of the cave that you're normally not allowed to go into. And one nice thing about Carlsbad Caverns is that walking all the way down, like I did it's completely self-guided so you don't have to stop and listen to a tour guide tell you a story or a chit chat for 20 minutes <laughs> like you do in just about every other cave there is and it's a really steep walk down most of the way and it's really rough on the knees for most people, but I found that if you walk backwards, <coughs> holding the handrail to guide you, then it's much, much, much easier on the knees. And if you want to mail a letter from the bottom of the cave, <laughs> you can do that too. You got a post office box here and postcards you can buy. And it is lunchtime for me, so I think I am going to get me a sandwich here. And they have restrooms. It's a steady 56 degrees in the cave, and most people are bringing jackets. However, it doesn't feel anywhere near that cold. It's also a very high humidity. And I found that as I was getting cold, I was also sweating. <laughs> Here at the bottom of the cave, this is what they call the big room. There actually is a lot of really large rooms all throughout the cave. And by the way, this is a cavern that you could actually take a wheelchair down instead of walking down. The walkways are paved and very wide like this right here. You can barely see it, it's kind of dark, but you couldn't make it in a wheelchair.
Here's a stalagmite and a stalactite. Almost getting to the point of touching, becoming a column. There's a real thin stalagmite. And on the ceiling here is some interesting things. And still I think it's very poorly lit. Here's another pool reflecting the side there. There's a nice column. Well, I've seen most of the big room here. I think I see what these two have in mind. That is a huge one. Here's a little creek. There's a stalagmite and stalactite that are close to touching. Well, I completed my walk around the big room, and now comes my favorite part of this cavern. Taking the elevator up to the visitor center. There's always a long line to get to the elevator, and I did see some people walking back up, which you can do if you're that energetic. But I asked them and they said they regretted the decision. <laughs> it is pretty steep. Coming up or down. And we have a guest shop and a full restaurant. So that's my tour of Carlsbad Caverns. Had a good time. I think you will too. Good day, folks.